Hey, I appreciate the opportunity uh, to talk about receiving a D2 error during startup. I hope you find this information informative. All right, you just finished installing a side discharge system. Uh, go to commission it, and we end up with a D2 error. Uh, first thing you obviously want to look at is make sure you have a match system. Uh, you should. Running HRI numbers, this should be fine. And if we look at the error breakdowns, we'll see an error D2 is the airflow requirement. It's greater than the capability of indoor system. So you may have an application where, let's say, an example, a 3-ton is capable of uh, 1250 outside, but the indoor unit's only capable of 1180, and that would generate a D2 error. In our service guide, we'll show equipment listed that uh, you are not permitted to adjust the trim to a positive number or you'll receive a D2 error. They do not list equipment that you need to reduce the trim number. Well, I'll, going into large explanations, uh, reducing a 5 or 10% should not affect the total BTU needed for the home. Start by jumping into our edit menu. Uh, just remember bottom four times when we enter the menu. We'll hit the menu, go to the bottom settings, go bottom once again, uh, and it's going to be dealer edit. Bottom again will be continue. And then we're going to ask for code. The lot letter I in the top right will give us our information. It's the last four digits of our MAC address. We'll go ahead and go back and enter those four digits into our screen. And then we'll push the unlock to get into our edit menu. And at this point, you can go ahead and push the uh, begin set. We have heat settings and cool settings both under the outdoor unit. Adjustments will have to be made the both if you have a heat pump. With air conditioning, we'll see the single settings only for cool. You'll also have gas settings for the airflow. Uh, those will not be involved in the D2 error or the system startup. Once we're in our setup, we'll enter number three, equipment setup, and we'll go to the heat pump. We'll see we have the heat pump and the cool settings both. And here's our configuration for the cool settings and the heat settings, both showing trim rate available separately. The furnace trim rates will not be involved. Again, we'll go ahead and go to the cool settings and hit the airflow trim. We'll do the low, intermediate, and high speed, all minus 10% and we'll do that for the cool side and the heat side, and then we're able to rerun the test. At this point, it's just successfully run the test. Uh, it will exit on its own. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit since I did not run the system test. Uh, the D2 should go away. At this point, you may re-enter and rechange the trim rates uh, to a slightly more desired setting to see if the D2 comes back. If those changes don't resolve the D2 error and allow the system test to operate, uh, we may have a communication error or a data error. Uh, we we'll can do a separate video on that. And of course, always contact us for discussion. And as always, uh, thank you very much from the TSAs at the Cafferty Group. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.